guys. Welcome back to Co Play It. What's going on? Okay. Uh, making our way through Metroid Prime, getting into the later game stuff. Yeah, we're, we're kind of picking up a little bit of you know some extra stuff. Got We've been low on missiles and, you know. We missed ourselves a lot of missiles, but now we got, we're getting them back. We're, you know, yeah, making up for lost missiles. Yeah. I'm pretty sure people are going to be like screaming. It's like, why are you getting more? But, you know. It's, <laughs> it's like, uh, you missed so many missiles. Yeah. I mean, it didn't hurt us that much. No, it really so. hasn't. I think I'll be comfortable when we hit like 100. We'll definitely get one. Whoa, we'll hi get guys. more than that. So. Okay, nice. So, we were we were talking last episode about like the durability of consoles. Yeah. And Yeah. But <laughs> interesting how Nintendo went from being like the best manufacturer, like they they led the industry for a while. Like the N64 was pretty good. Like it wasn't the most powerful, but it was definitely the most accessible. Actually, it was more powerful than the PlayStation 1. Really? Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah. I thought the PS2 was better. So, Huh. If you want to do like a, you know, a console, you know, power, you know, comparison thing, like a power level thing. Uh -huh. So it's over 9,000. Technically, Sorry. wait, am I going the wrong way? No, I'm not. Okay. Uh, so N64 versus PlayStation. That was technically the most powerful one. Uh, wow. N64 that is. Was it more powerful than And then the you get Dreamcast? to the sixth generation, which is like the GameCube, PlayStation, uh, Xbox. Yeah. So, OG Xbox, like the huge, like fat one. Yeah. That was technically the most powerful one. Uh, actually, and then, I can see that. And like, then uh, GameCube took second, technically. And then uh, PS2 was actually the weakest. See, it's interesting to me. What? what? Oh, why'd you get hurt? I don't know. <laughs> because, like, I like I can believe the Xbox was the most powerful, like, just based on a lot of the games I've seen and played on it. Yeah. Like, that checks out. GameCube, um, again, like, Nintendo makes top-grade shit. And <laughs> it's interesting to me that the PS2 was the weakest, but probably sold the best. Oh, yeah. It sold, like, like crazy. Because its library was just so good. It had, like, a thousand-plus games on it. Like, and, it was like, Ridiculous. So many like platinum or classic hits or whatever you whatever they were called on the PS2. Just like freaking Jack and Daxter, Ratchet and Clank, Kingdom Hearts, Metal Gear Solid, Persona, Persona all the other stuff. <laughs> Persona, everything. Just yeah. like the list goes on forever. Yeah. So that I mean, if, if nothing, that just affirms to me that like games make the console no matter what. And it sold really well too because they could play DVDs as well. Yeah. Like, and now like that's... a huge selling point to a lot of families just like having their first like DVD player. Oh yeah. And like, consoles like two for the price of one. Exactly. Yeah. Like I actually have a buddy at work who bought a PS3 for the similar reason. Like because for he, a Blu -ray he wanted a Blu-ray player and he wanted to play games. So it's like I'll get them both. Yeah. And it's like hey, why not? That is an excellent appeal that like yeah And then you get to seventh gen which is like the 360 with the most powerful and yeah then the ps3 And then, and then the, Wii. <laughs> the Wii which the was Wii. basically just yeah. a slightly better ps2. Yeah so Which is like it like the Wii was unfortunate for, in a lot of ways Yeah, like they were they were experimenting with you know alternate play styles motion controls. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like I, I understand that but like they didn't I, like I don't think they like spent quite enough on the technical end, which is why. Yeah. And, and yet again, like I think the Wii. I don't know if the Wii won in sales, but it didn't do badly. Oh no, it won in sales. Did it win it? Okay. Oh, Hundred million units or something like that. Holy shit. Okay, yeah. never mind. Okay, missiles are gonna work on that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So. So okay. Yeah. Never mind. We still won. Yeah. Big time in sales. Like I don't know about. Um, it certainly became, I mean, it was still very accessible. Like, it's very family-friendly. I think that's about the time where Nintendo started trying to, like... Yeah, they want to go the more accessible route. Clean up their image, become, like, the Disney of video games, I guess. Yeah. You know, family-friendly and whatnot. Which is, like, where? and... I'm, I don't know if that's entirely true, but it just seemed to be, like, the route they were going in yeah. for a lot of their development. Which is contradicted by a lot of things, because there's a lot of really, like, kind of eerie games on the Wii. Yeah. That were, like... Twilight, the vibe of Twilight Princess was kind of darker. Mm -hmm. Not quite as dark as the well, but... No. But overall, like, oh. the tone of the game was, like, a little grittier, a little more realistic. And... Oh, so. I could've just done this. Wh well... Why? Revelation! Oh my god. I... I would've... Did you not notice how many times, like, I went around the room, like, trying to figure out what the hell to do? I did. Well, yeah, that's what uh. happened. Okay. 
Well, I feel stupid, but... <laughs> oh, no. There, there you we go. go. I was just like, there's something I got like a scan in this room? I don't remember, but... Yeah, there we go. Nice. We're just racking up the power-ups right just now. Just getting missiles all over the place, Ooh, which okay. is good. Where am I? Okay, there we the go. more missiles, the better. Come on. Nope. Back. Oh. Get, get it? Come on. Pick Samus. Up Samus, missiles. how large are you? Thank you. <laughs> It's like, you have the bulkiest shoulders ever conceived yeah, by man. Yeah, how can you miss that? You can't. Okay. She got there eventually. But, like, there were some brutal titles on the Wii. Like, I don't know if you played uh, Mad World or No, oh, More, no More Heroes, but yeah. those are a couple of very bloody those games. Those are really good and fun games. Yeah. I haven't played... I've played a little bit of No More Heroes. That's a pretty fun one. Mm -hmm. uh, I have not played Mad World, which is kind of, like... You know, it's platinum, so yeah. that would have been... I, that's one on my to-do list for sure. <laughs> uh, what's down? Oh, oh. Woo! It's become a honeycomb. Nice. No, that's Fendrana. Where are we so. coming in from? Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm not gonna... Nah, I'm not gonna bother with this. Okay. So... There might be one more thing I can do. <laughs> To pose like a more personal question, like up to this point so thus far, yeah, what would you say has been your favorite console? Like the one that you like have the most fond memory memories of, or like uh, just enjoyed the most? I definitely got way more out of the GameCube. Like, mm. so really, I have like I have pretty much all consoles except Microsoft consoles. Uh, like, you're the one, you know, with Xbox and I'm the one with PlayStation, Nintendo, and whatnot. But yeah. Which is, well, I didn't have an original Xbox. That's, yeah. I never got but, that one. But, uh, so, uh, like, when I was just growing up, I had my choice of, you know, I was the one with Nintendo, and my brother was the one with uh, Sony. Uh, so I had okay. access to both. Right. But, um, I think definitely I had more, you know, fun and time out of the GameCube. Because, like, I would go and play Smash Brothers, you know, up in the attic uh, with my cousins yeah. and whatnot. And I think, you know, I'm playing this game on that. It's just, there's way a lot of, like, really quality titles, like Paper Mario and Metroid oh, and, like, Wind yeah. Waker and Smash Brothers. It's, uh, you know. Yeah. The library on, this, on the GameCube platform, at least, was phenomenal. It, I mean, it was excellent. Yeah. That was where a lot of, like, first-party Nintendo shined. Yeah, really. What about you? Yeah. Like, I, I'm kind of in the same generation. Like, I'm in... 6th gen? Yeah. Which is, but, like, on the Sony side of that, because, like, up until the point of the PS2, like, I, I did play mostly Nintendo products. I played, um, you know, I played the NES, SNES, N64. Second to that might be the N64. Yeah. Because the 64 was really good. But the PS2 just resonates with me on so many levels because, like, there were just so many, like, Great games that I remember, like that I got into. I've mentioned of a lot, a lot of them already, mm -hmm. but like the Jack and Daxter series holds a very special place to me because that was. It's like it just blew my mind when I was a kid how cool and how like open that game was. Yeah, and how much fun it was to play, and it was really good. And then it spawned two really good sequels, and I was very happy. <laughs> uh, and then like Kingdom Hearts. God, I love Kingdom Hearts. Please make three. I mean. <laughs> They Please are. finish three, I should say. Oh yeah, finish it up. Finish it. Out. Um, but like, um, and then just you know, I had access to a lot of the other things. Like I was, a, I'm, 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 have always been a big fan of Sonic, and because all those were accessible on that, like I still got to enjoy those experiences. Yeah. On that, even if they weren't quite as good as their GameCube or Xbox counterparts. Uh huh. Like I had no point of reference. I didn't know. <laughs> it still was fun. <laughs> So, overall, I would definitely say it was probably the PS2. The 360, actually, yeah, 360 is probably a close second because that one also, just, like, the amount of time I've had with that in the, the library I've amassed. Yeah. And, like, there's there are a few very specific games for the 360 that might, like, tip the scale a little bit. Uh-huh. Like Marvel 3 and Metal Gear Rising. Yeah. But overall, like, the I just have so many fond memories of the PS2. Especially, well, uh, yeah, I will say the PS2 because you know what? That one never fucking broke on me. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's probably my answer right there. <laughs> yeah, the PS... I still have the original, like, tank PS2. And yeah, that was the one still I Still working fine. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, those... Like, I always preferred getting the fat versions of consoles because for some reason the fat ones always seem to work better. Yeah. Like, I got... 
I got an interesting story for you guys. So, uh, my birthday passed recently, and I told my parents, it's like, hey, can you get, uh, it's like, I've never had a PS3. Uh, that would be cool. Like, if you can find one really cheap, that would be awesome. Like, I'm not going to ask you to go out of your way and just, like, spend an absurd break amount of money. Break the bank. Yeah, break, don't break the bank on it. So my dad took this to a whole new level. <laughs> And he went to a pawn shop and got me one for like 20 bucks. Oh my god, 20 bucks? That, that one you see down there. 20 bucks for that fat. That, no, 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 for the slim. Oh, for the slim for one. The 20 okay. bucks for the slim, but 500 gig hard drive. Ooh. So, uh, yeah, and he got, he got it. It was a little messy, he told me, but he cleaned it up, made it look nice. And I brought it home and tested it that night, and it seemed fine. So I was like, hell yeah, I just <laughs> scored a PS3. And... Um, uh, but I didn't I didn't play it thoroughly like I just tested it to make sure it turned on to make sure that it would actually play a game for a few minutes And then it went right back off um, A couple nights later. I decided to go into it more thoroughly. I'm like hey, I've got the Kingdom Hearts HD I want to play that you know go down memory lane for a little bit. So I get through the intro section. Uh -huh. I get through uh, Destiny Island uh -huh. and uh, I get to the first save point in Traverse Town. Yeah, and as I am saving, the console just turns off. Oh no! Mid save. Oh no! So that means that save is corrupted, and all that time is gone. And what really crappy timing? Yeah, it was the worst. So, and I mean, I felt it, and it, it's like it was overheating. Like I've since learned, the problem is it's overheating. Yeah. But for no reason, like I've taken it into the shop, no one can figure it out. So a, be wary of twenty dollars PS3s at pawn shops. <laughs> B, um, so that one crapped out on me. But so while it was in the shop, I decided to go looking for another one, and I found this fat one that Anthony just mentioned, <laughs> forty gig original fat PS3, for forty dollars. Yeah. Conveniently enough, like I went to uh, went to a GameStop. And they had one. They were really cool. They're like, yeah, 40 bucks. Damn. And then we'll give you a year warranty on it. You know, they give you, like, if you buy it used, they give you a year warranty on it. Uh -huh. So that would, like, the total cost came up to, like, 55. And then I used some points and knocked it right back down to 40. So nice. all, all said and done, $40 for a fat PS3 and a year warranty in case it fucks up. Nice. But so in the end, I got my PS3. But it was just a hassle because, like, these, like, we're, we're in a generation of consoles that are less trustworthy in that regard. Like, buying secondhand consoles is a bit more risky than it used to be. Like, like if I went out and buy a, bought a secondhand GameCube, Damn that it. fucker will work. I know it. <laughs> if I buy a secondhand PS2, I'm still fairly certain that thing's gonna work unless it's been abused. Yeah. So, but you just can't be too sure. Oh God. Having some trouble there? Um, just... Uh, just Why, die. You? He won't die. Wow. I'm getting real upset right now. Anthony's I just want to find the door, and there's the door right behind me. Okay. There you go. Oh my god, I all spent right. way too much time in that room. Well. Alright. We're all good now. Just let me through. Please just let me through. Alright. That's quite the story of how you wound up with two PS3s. It was, it was in... well... I don't know how interesting it actually is, but like, for, it was a, quite a trip for me. Yeah, I mean, it's an ordeal and a half. But like, cool to know that you like, if you look in the right places, like you can find a good deal. Yeah. Here and there, and like for me personally, the fat one is always the one that I've kind of wanted. Uh huh. Because like when it can't when they started coming out, and was it two thousand six, two thousand five, two thousand seven? There you go. Think? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Somewhere, somewhere in those, like, I I originally wanted. An original PS3 like that was the one that was really cool because yeah. I, I, at the time you know I was on the PS2 I was very Sony dedicated but the <laughs> problem was the fat PS3 was really fucking expensive so <laughs> oh, 599 US yeah, dollars like 600 dollars <sighs> and so we're like nah <laughs> not gonna do with nah. that <laughs> and that's how I got it a that's how I got a 360 and got started down that path B like I guess that kind of Fascination with the original fat PS3 never went went away because I still like the look of it a heck of a lot more than well the super slim over there I never liked the the top open tray oh yeah is kind of like eh, I just it's didn't like wonky. from a design standpoint I didn't like it very much yeah like I don't want any like no one get me wrong I am eternally grateful to my parents who got me these things like it was really cool that they were able to you know do that yeah but like just personally. 
I don't know, twenty dollar. I mean, <laughs> a twenty dollar PS3 is gonna behave like a twenty dollar PS3. Let's put. Yeah. I mean, let's put I was, it that way. I was hopeful, and really, like, I would have like. I don't know. It would have been cooler if it worked, and I almost prefer that it would have, because then I wouldn't be out another 40 bucks. Yeah. But at the same time, if I'm going to have one, it might as well be the cool one. True. Just in case you're listening, thanks, Dad. <laughs> uh. All right. And with that save point, we've actually hit time. So thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you in the next episode of Co-Play It. All right. See you all then. Bye.